Okay, we're gonna get the interior here of my new uh, Wilderness the 2475BH. It's got a brand new one here and uh, took delivery of it on uh, Monday. And uh, we're gonna do an interior of before and then later on when I finish doing some upgrades after. So anyhow, here's the kitchen. And uh, I'll just try closing that door. There we go. We'll try this again. So any house of it, interior, if the, as we look through here, we'll start at the kitchen. And um, you can see here what they provide is a double sink. And uh, have lots of editing. Okay. All right. So we have a, a double sink here, which is really nice. It's deep. These covers are really flimsy that they supply. Not so sure we're going to do anything with that. Uh, but uh, a very nice double sink with a more of a residential style faucet. And then over here to the right is the, uh, the range. I'll get back here a little bit. We have lots of editing. So here we have the range. And uh, it has a ignition start, it has a worktop surface on it that this can be lifted up and folded back out of the way. Uh, the oven, the oven's an oven, but there's the oven. This one has an, uh, uses a pilot light system, but it does have electronic spark up there for the cooks on the tops, which is nice. Below the sink, there is this small uh, area that you can use. There's a lot of wasted space. If you have some basic carpentry skills and don't mind uh, playing around, there's a lot of space behind this, uh, underneath that sink back there that I'm going to work on reutilizing and repurposing to a better that they did. You've got a couple of uh, drawers here. And then on the side again, I think by doing some things here, you could get access to under the sink over here. And uh, that would uh, improve your, I mean, there's a lot of storage, but would give you some additional storage space here. So you have a receptacle here. There's only a light up here. There is no receptacle. Some models have receptacles above the sink area. This one only has one receptacle there. A very large uh, cabinet above the sink, again, you know, definitely do some repurposing and shelving and stuff to make it more uh, functional. Microwave. Nice size microwave. Uh, ducted hood. This duct uh, hood goes outside. It is ducted outside, which is nice. Another problem though, the little light here that lights up the cooktop is not very good. Probably look at redoing something there down the road. We'll address that in a later video. Refrigerator, same thing. I actually have some extra items that I had bought from my refrigerator that I will move from my other camper. Uh, some extra shelving and stuff that you can buy from Dom Dometic uh, to make a little more usable space in your freezer and refrigerator if you so desire. There's the thermostat for the heat and air conditioning, uh, which is nice. Two bunks. Uh, the upper bunk, each one has a light. There we go. Up there, and it, this one, the upper bunk has an AC duct, a window. There are no receptacles inside the bunk area. Some companies provide that there are not in this model. Down below, same thing, there's another light. And, um, and you will also notice though that the space between the bottom and the top is a lot smaller on the bottom than the top. Um, so depending upon how much use you're going to get, you may want to think about that. As a recept there is a receptacle down right below the bunk, so you certainly could plug in for uh, phones, electronics, things of that nature uh, to help you out. As we move over into the, the bad, nice size bathroom, and uh, you can kind of see that we'll kind of pan around here. So you've got this nice size shower with the skylight. There is a 
a power vent there. Uh, there's also an air conditioning duct, some switches here for the light and the fan. So we've got a one little light up there. Again, I think I'm going to work on something about doing some lighting above the tub. Uh, as we move around here, we'll see is the sink, and then there is a small medicine cabinet that uh, has some storage in it. Again, probably could do a lot more repurposing if you wanted to create some additional space in here. There's a lot of wall space in here, places to put up towel racks, etc. This cabinet below the sink has a dead front on it. Same thing there. If you're really handy, I'm going to look into that. I'll address that in a future video, perhaps as we do some modifications to create some additional uh, storage space here in the bathroom. And then if you've got your tank monitor, your hot water heater switches, both the electric and the LP, the water pump, and the switches for the light and the uh, fan here. And of course a receptacle there to plug in your shaver, electric toothbrush, etc., hair dryers, what have you. As we move around the coach, uh, we have this really nice uh, pantry cabinet. You can see it goes from the ceiling kind of all the way down. It's a really nice size cabinet. These shelves uh, can be taken out, etc. Or I guess if you really want it, they're not adjustable, but they're just uh, rails screwed into the sides. You could certainly reposition those if you decide you needed something a little different. Below that is the um, the uh, the charger, the uh, power converter, for providing the 12 volts as well as the uh, circuit breakers and stuff for the. Uh, uh, see how this opens up. I forget. Or it doesn't. Uh, does it fold down? Uh, there we go. There we go. So you can see in here, there's the circuit breakers for the various uh, air conditioners and, and uh, microwaves and water heaters and things of that nature, as well as uh, fuses for the various 12 volt items in here. And below that, um, so I'm not really sure what's down here at the dead front. There is a propane gas detector there and a receptacle again over here on the side uh, near the slide out where the dining room table is at. Now I've got my table covered and stuff already, but there's a switch here, so we'll turn this on. Kind of nice, there's a, in each corner there's an LED down light, as well as uh, light over the table, which has incandescence in it, and uh, all operated by a switch on the wall over here that you can turn on and off. And um, nice cabinets, uh, a lot of storage again above over here in various uh, locations. There's three places for storage. This one behind the light fixture is kind of, uh, you probably wouldn't want to use that one too much, but definitely for other items you don't need to. Uh, the shades, of course, very nice. Uh, just, just a really nice uh, little dinette area here. As we continue to move around the coach, we move over here to where the television and the entertainment equipment is at. And uh, we're gonna do some modifications there as well. Um, I've already worked on a couple of items, but we'll cover that in a couple of other videos as well. But up here above, we have some really nice uh, storage again behind these glass doors. And um, so, and then down below, same thing. Uh, there's my antenna wire that I fished out from behind the stereo. Uh, they just had it wadded up in there. I'm going to fasten it. There's some dead space valence, valence space up up there and hide it up there. Very nice. Uh, on the wall over here is the controls for the slides and the awnings and the lights as you see in the ceiling. Uh, there you got the lights, the smoke detectors, the speakers, the air conditioning system, all of that uh, in the ceiling. We need to turn all those on and off, which is nice. And then we move into the bedroom. Now, this is a poor design in my opinion, probably for safety, but you have to open this step back here. So this door that leads into the bedroom opens up from the right, which means if you really want to get around, you can see here as I move this door through, oops, there is just very little space. So you really are forced to, if you want to do that, you have to open the door all the way up to get over into the bedroom, in which place you're blocking the television and a lot of other things. I'm not so sure that was a great idea. I think I know why they did it. We're going to show that in another video on changing that around. 
and the bedroom. I've been practicing in here a little bit to see how she sleeps. And uh, as you can see here, um, it's an RV size queen. I will tell you if you're over about, I'm 5'11", and you may or may not like the length of the bed. Uh, the mattress isn't too uncomfortable. Uh, a lot of stories, there's little cubbies on each side of the bed with a receptacle on each side to plug in cell phones, CPAP machines, uh, whatever the case may be. Here I've got my charger plugged in for my cell phone. A lot of storage. Again, very deep. Here we we'll just kind of scan up and down. We don't have a lot of light there, but you can kind of look in there. And then above the bed, again, more storage that goes all the way across. And uh, places to put uh, clothes and... Uh, sheets, towels, whatever the case may be. Uh, and the same thing over here on the right side. And then this bed does lift up. So we'll lift it up and you can see the storage that we have underneath the bed. There's probably about 20 inches by about 44, 45 inches. I've measured it for a couple of uh, cabinets or uh, storage bins. And then this TV does pivot. Here we'll Make sure we can pivot it. I think we're oh, gonna move this out again. We gotta move the door. And then this television can, there's all the wiring just kind of goes up through the, there's a pivot point. Um, now there is, if this te the television does have speakers and stuff in it, now most of it's, the speakers and the TV are just turned off and that is routed through the stereo uh, in, the, in the coach uh, itself, in the uh, trailer itself. However, you certainly, you know, in here, take the remote, use the speakers and the TV if you just wanted to have that, and you could watch TV in bed. I'm not sure, you know, some people do that. I'm not a big television watcher myself in bed. And uh, I think we're going to put a, show a couple things down the road. We'll do, uh, I think we're going to put a mirror or something, or picture, maybe, I'm not sure, on the back side of this to kind of just give this a little different feel and look. And that pretty much covers the inside of the coach. You know that we've got a couple of, uh, again, we've got a light above here. Oh, there's lights above the bed. There's one on each side. Um, so they're very bright. So you certainly if you want to read or something. And uh, so there's those two lights there. Very good. And there's a light in the ceiling up there along with a couple of air conditioning vents more than enough to keep plenty of airflow back here or and um, there's a switch on the wall you can turn that off up there and so that takes care of that and of course you've got a lot of natural light a couple of windows in here so very nice that takes care of the interior uh, and it's kind of factory form and um, Move this pen out of the way so we can move this television back to where it belongs. There we go. So there's a pen that holds that in place there. So really just a very nice, and so we just kind of pan through one more time. Uh, as, we, as we're standing with our back to the door as we come into the coach and we can look uh, right to left. And we see that we've got the dinette, the bathroom, uh, the bunk area the uh, and of course the kitchen area 